So here we are with Mike Barker in North London, it's a gorgeous house, we just had a quick look around. So Mike, director... Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> International my mystery man. So tell us a little bit about what you've done, some of the films, some well, of the people. Right, right now I'm working on Moby Dick, I'm making mm -hmm. a, a remake of Moby Dick, which is um, with William Hurt as Ahab Nightmare. Okay. Ethan Hawke, mm -hmm. fantastic, as play Starbuck. Gillian Anderson's mm -hmm. in it. Um, Donald Sutherland's in it. Yeah. It's a huge big cast, cool. yeah. And we shot it in Canada, Malta. I'm now finishing it off in Germany right now. Oh, so this is like a few days off? Uh, well, in fact, the truth of it is, it was meant to be finished a few months ago, but actually there's no... <laughs> the whale hasn't come back quite as well as we wanted it, so we're waiting right. for a new whale. Like you do? Like you do. <laughs> Tell them about my comfort zone when we're not talking about food. So, some of the, what are the other films? Some of the other. Um, well, bef and then before that, I just did a film called Butterfly and a Will with mm -hmm. um, Pierce Brosnan okay. and uh, Jerry Butler, and um, um, a, a thriller. Mm -hmm. and before that, I made a movie with Scarlett Johansson called um, uh, A Good Woman, which I shot in Italy, <laughs> which was fantastic. Talking about foodie, yeah. foodie trip. That was the best foodie trip wow. of all. Because of the hotels and the restaurants and yeah, and just you know, and just also the catering. I mean, one day because the, the, the Italians are such fantastic caterers, so sometimes they just turn up with a giant wheel of parmesan, and that would be it. Nice. And there was a little fork, and we just had parmesan and a bit of wine for lunch. It was cool. Wow. <laughs> when we do a lot of food shows, they they cut a parmesan wheel and make it up and put little cocktail sticks oh. in it. And whenever I go to the toilet or the cafe, whatever I do, I always make sure I walk past the parmesan wheel. It's such a nice I can say, I, I think I say when you come to the tour, you can wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash my hands and then back past the time. Get a bit of bite each way. Now, let's start with some tastings before I embarrass myself even more there. So this is pate moi. Pate moi. Sorry, I always get that wrong. Flip. So Flip makes this family recipe. Check out a video on the website. Amazing pate. This is vegetarian. Absolutely stunning. Now, Mike hasn't tasted any of these. No. So this is a mushroom pate. So is this a cream cheesy one? Cream it? cheese mushroom base, yeah, but... Hmm. Isn't that great? And it's at room temperature as well, guys, but isn't that fresh? That is so lovely. Yeah, so just on some crackers. That is so lovely. Oh, my God. I've, um... It really is. <laughs> oh, I could do that. Right, well, that's yours to keep, so that's staying in the house, don't panic. Does that happen if I say I love yeah. everything? I yeah, otherwise it's it. gone. <laughs> So that's the pâté moi from pâté moi, but the mushroom pâté there. It's got a I've, actually, I've actually made this myself loads of times and never in a million years has it ever got as close as that. That's it's lovely, been, isn't it? Yeah, it's been good. So that's the pâté. We're going to taste Patchwork's um, Italian-style pâté now. Now this is anchovies and capers with a chicken liver base. Now some of you may know already, but this is my family business as well. But uh, we thought we'd have a battle of the two pâtés. I also know Maggie very well who makes it, so... <laughs> Definitely going to be nice on the... <laughs> no, perfect. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really love this one. On a beef wellington, or just with crackers, just before dinner. So what is it? It's anchovies? Anchovies, chicken liver. It's an Italian-style chicken liver pate, yeah. Oh, that's good. We should check it out. That's good. Here you go, Mum. Mmm. Well done, Max. Totally different. So we've got mm. vegetarian and meat there, but again, just something to keep in the cupboard. That you anchovy's open. fantastic, isn't yeah. it? It really comes through. Mm. Mm. You can't really sit on the fence with an anchovy, guys, so if you've got any problems with anchovies, avoid this one, but if you do... I don't think so, because I do have a problem with anchovies, but oh, actually, right. yeah, no, I mean, I find them too strong. I think they're subtle and perfect. Mm -hmm. it's, just, mm -hmm. it's more like, it's just a slightly fishy salt. It's perfect. Nice, well, there we go. The... Lily's Crocs from Marcus and Charcuterie Direct. I've actually just cut a little bits here just for us to try. Such a nice little snack. Actually, Mike did sneak a taste of one of these just before. We had a bit of problems with the microphone, so... <laughs> About mm. four. Mm. So I know how good they are. They're really... T it's really, really lovely, actually. It's, um, it's that... a little bit of aniseed, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of cracked pepper. It's lovely. Really, mm. really nice. Quite mm. salty, mm. I think, with a glass of wine. There we go. Cheers. So, have we got any gossip for us? Right before we go into the chat, <laughs> you said there might be a little bit of gossip for us. <laughs> gossip, no. Only about my wife. No. <laughs> Sarah said we should have opened these before we started, and I said no, so that'll teach me, won't it? So this is the spice, the relish and spice, great clowman's pickle. This has been in the market for a while. I've, I've done quite a lot with this one. Such a nice, traditional British pickle. You're a bit mean with this, aren't you? I don't want to kill this. So this is Plowman's, is it? Plowman's pickle. Oh, yeah, it is Plowman's. Mm. Mm. Really lovely. All right, Ian and Barbara down in That's Sussex. That's really good. Makes this. Ian trained as a Michelin star. 
chef, met him at a food show recently, really interesting guy. Great products in there as well, guys. The rest of the range is awesome. It's got a lovely kick to it. It's got a lovely mm. bit of sort of a bite. Actually, but it's that it's pickled so onion. The thing I like about it is the taste it's of that pickled is. onion. You're right, actually. It. Now you said it, I can yeah. see it's a sort of vinegar. Mm. It's really lovely. That's in fact the best pound of pickle I've ever had. <laughs> really, no, really. This is <laughs> Honestly, he's not tried any of these products before. All on commission. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a lime chili pickle from the chili. Oh, give me that whole piece of lime. The the chili chunk. pickle company. Yeah. Brand new in the market. Do you want that as well? Yeah, give me the whole chunk. Yeah. Limey. Oh, I smell it already. This is absolutely stunning. Guys, this is a bit too hot for me, so I'm going to only take a little bit. This is an award winning restaurant. There's, there's a real kick to it. Mm. There's a real kick to it. it is, the lime is fantastic. <coughs> it's really lovely. It's Spicy. so fruity. It's, it is hot, but it's so mm -hmm. fruity. What is it? I mean, it's just... It's a lime, lime, hot lemon and lime. It really, I mean, you mm -hmm. just feel the lemon and lime. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I feel the lemon and lime more than the chilli. Yep. You're I'm holding your talk. breath. I'm talking, I'm really hot. And I, so I, I, got, it's not that bad, actually. I mean, if you're <laughs> vaguely mild, mm. spice orientated, it's fine. Mild? Mm. I'd put that in the, uh, the top end. No, it's well, definitely not the top end. Guys, I feel sorry for Sarah's Harrogate Preserve. Um, I can clean my palate with a little <laughs> bridge here. Lemon and lime marmalade. It doesn't stand a chance after that uh, chilli pickle. <laughs> if you clean your palate. So guys, I'm going to try the last one. Harrogate Preserve, I always say when we feature these guys' products, look at the detail, the, the, the ribbon, the, the piece of string, the leaf, everything. It's just amazing. So this is Sarah up in Harrogate. I'm still choking so on that pickle. So, so, so what is it? This is small a... handmade marmalade. This is lime, lemon and lime. Again, just classic artisan producers. Do you know, oddly, it's, funny, it's, a, it's actually rather... Actually, yeah. It actually works rather well because the citrus in there, is that, that's, the lime is really strong in there. It's really, yeah, it's really strong lime, isn't it? Beautiful. In fact, you mix the two together. I wouldn't. <laughs> Except in the, in, in the, food, the first part of the intestine. Food, ex, food experimenting. Mm, that's lovely. Guys, that's awesome. Perfect. Mm. So just quickly going to finish off some of the TV shows that you've done. Um, what else have I done? Um, I can see you've got IMDb. Yeah, yeah. I go through the list. So uh, what have I Silent done? I've done Silent Witness. Well, that was a long time ago. That was one of yeah. the first shows I ever did. Mm -hmm. I sort of did the first series of Silent Witness with Amanda Burton many okay. years ago. Um, then I did um, The Ten of World Four Hall, mm -hmm. which is an Anne Bronte thing. Then I did, um, I've done lots and lots of classic mm -hmm. films. So who's the person you work with the best? The one that sticks in your mind, the person who um, you, know, you would work with in a heartbeat? Probably Scarlett Johansson sitting on my knee was a memorable moment. Um, <laughs> apart from that, I mean, all of these guys are great. I mean, all these actors, you know, I've worked with some of the best, you know, Reese Witherspoon, mm -hmm. William Hurt was a nightmare, but he's a brilliant actor and he's brilliant in the film. I mean, they're, they're all, every experience is a different one. Um, You've seen so many places as well, travelling so many places. Yeah, I haven't worked in England for five years. Wow. And I've worked every, uh, non-stop. I haven't, mm -hmm. this is my first week at home in three years. We did well to catch you. We did. phoned you up on Wednesday. You did, I know, exactly. <laughs> and it was my wife's appointment as well, didn't I? <laughs> you can see her waiting in the hall. <laughs> Guys, listen, awesome. I hope you've enjoyed this. We're going to have some more uh, features like this coming up in the next few weeks. Guys, tasting the food as well, the pâtés, the, the chutneys, the, the saucy croc, the, the marmalade, just all, all worth definitely giving a go, along with any of the products in the market. Give them a go. These artisan producers are out there working so hard for you. Support British food, support food in the market. And Mike, thanks a lot, mate. No, thank you, Mike. Back Cheers. at the uh, flats, going to quickly do the draw for the uh, competition this week. This week, the uh, winning uh, entry was Try a Little Tenderness. So uh, thanks, everyone, who entered that. Just going to do the draw quickly. Oh, just grab one. There it is. So this week's winner is Alison Campbell. So congratulations, Alison Campbell. You've won Luscombe drink, jasmine tea from uh, Choi Time, chilli pickle, meatballs, porridge oats and the VIP nuts, which are awesome. Guys, we're just uh, holding the uh, competition for a little bit, just probably get a bit more organised with it. So uh, keep checking the, the website and coming back. But thanks a lot for everyone who's entered over the last month. And we'll see you soon. And next week, uh, we'll have another interesting guest we're talking to.